Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at lobbytools.com. Pam Buchanan voted for the first time in her 54 years back in 2016. She voted for Donald Trump, and voters like Pam are the key to a GOP win in Florida. Planning on voting again? No. You're not going to vote this year? No. no. Because he's not on the ballot? That's it. That's not good for the GOP. The party is counting on slightly older voters like Pam to carry them to victory. Monday began with 5 million ballots already cast. Democrats took a 25,000 vote lead in mail and early voting. Across the state, canvassing boards were meeting to go over disputed mail and early ballots. All right, it's the same way. Yep. So that makes that sense. Yep. Statewide, there are 15,000 ballots where the signature doesn't match or there isn't one. Uh, my guess is that tomorrow this enthusiasm to vote in this election is going to carry on, and I think we're going to probably, uh, raw numbers, we're going to have a, a record turnout without a doubt in the midterm. And Democrats are buoyed by a higher than usual young voter turnout. Parkland student Emma Gonzalez came to the Capitol urging young voters to continue turning out. Gun violence is on the ballot. Our lives are in the hands of the people that we elect. Vote in every election like it's your last because it very well could be. The 25,000 ballot advantage for Democrats is in sharp contrast to a 97,000 deficit this time four years ago. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.